The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. We'll see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Takote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. 
After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies. And Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old ones spoke. And what they said changed everything. What did the old ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, 
trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learn from Fashaf, he will be missed. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deco on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones, but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her, but then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but. Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who'll risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons, and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. 
Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, I guess I'll have to play along with a car. Gotta help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Matea and I were heading south with supplies from Saltbite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you! I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. Now it should be somewhere up the road. The supplies led. Where's the supplies? And the Tanakh soldier. It looks like the Tanakh tried to salvage some supplies after getting attacked. And dropped them? A running battle? Maybe they can lead me to the other soldier. Something tasty. There. Tracks from the missing Tanakh.
Definitely looks like the other Tanakh ran off this way. That machine was built to kill hunters. sent me. By the ten that lump made it, I thought we were both finished. Let's clear out these machines. Time to lose! Thanks. If you hadn't shown up, I would have been machine grist. All I did was give your friend here a little time to come to the rescue. Ah, you're full of it. I barely escaped with my life on the road. That, I believe. I, uh, hope some of your supplies are still usable. Me too. Food's always scarce. The soldiers at the Grove need the rations. No way we can trek back north to Salt Bite to get more. I'll get this one back on her feet, and we'll scrape what's left of our hall of the dirt. Mmm, you're making me hungry. Thanks, Outlander. We won't forget what you did. Stay safe, both of you. Mmm, strong smell. Almost ready to go back to the grove? Give me a minute.
one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Katara should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. infested with Regala's rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. Path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwarks so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a Marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. 
So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... Don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. You were at the Embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other Marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you, the further west you go, the deadlier machines become. If you're smart, you'll stop by our hunting grounds south of here. Get some training in before you face a real fight. Thanks for the advice. I'll stop by if I'm in the area. Greetings, champion. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. Who does anyone who likes that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Skyclan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. Rebels ahead. Hacking away at that machine. Got them. Or sneak around. I will follow.
bulwark. I bet a diary would be interested in this. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Take the lead. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well... Maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. You there! A 
marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the Ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. <laughs> 